Good evening to you all on this Tuesday evening. <laughs> I have decided, rightly or wrongly, to do compliment with this tiny furry overlord on my desk. Yeah, exactly. So let's try and have a quiet time as we begin. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O oh God and Spirit, and Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O oh Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O oh Jesus my King, O oh Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet. I know he will. And save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. <laughs> you need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light, O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight, O God of life this night. And we're going to do our reading now, Kitten Assuming, <coughs> and we're looking at an astounding forgiveness. Luke 23, verse 34. Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. The depth of Jesus' compassion is mind boggling. As others wrongly accused and crucified him, he recognised that they did not know what they were doing. No. He asked God to forgive them. It is an astoundingly poignant picture. One that should resonate with your soul as we read those words tonight. When people hurt you, they do not understand what they're doing. They may think they do, but they could not possibly comprehend the full ramifications of hurting someone that God loves. So forgive as Jesus did, with compassion and understanding. Because you recognise that in doing so, you set yourself and the other one who is hurt free. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another just as God also forgave you in Christ. Let's have a moment of prayer before we have a time of quiet. Dear God, 
it is hard to forgive sometimes. Please give me your strength and compassion so that both of us can be free. Amen. Let's say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Ow. Give us today our daily bread. <laughs> forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Can hear you. Thank you for joining me and Teddy this evening. Please take care of yourselves. Good night and God bless you. <laughs>